Hello beauties, um, back finally with a uh, video that was requested by, um, I really don't want to mispronounce her name, I think it's Anissa, she has her own wonderful channel which is the life I'm living and I will try to leave the name uh, right here and I will try to put a link in the description box but I don't know if I know how to do that yet so bear with me. Um, yeah, she requested that I do the look I did in a haul I did a while back, the purple, when I had the purple on my eyes, so I'm going to redo that. I already did my eyebrows off camera because they take me the longest and they're frustrating at times. So, let's put, I use this um, L'Oreal Paris Magic Decrease, yeah, it's Decrease, it is a... I don't know if it's focusing, but it is my, um, there you go, it is my, uh, eyelid primer, so I'm going to use that, putting it on my eyelids, or just like put music over this video, and I wanted to do talk through, because it was a requested video, and I would like to, I like to give people that requested a video my own little shout out if you would you know oh my eyes look red now but got that on now I'm gonna take this big uh, blending brush that I got from BH Cosmetics this is a blending brush it's a nice big one it's really good and then I'm going to take this brown color that I like to use as a transition that I'm pretty sure I use in a video and I'm trying my hardest to remember because all I got is pictures and I don't really remember oh excuse me exactly what I use but I think I got all the products <laughs> that I remember but this is from a palette I got a while back and it's called Sunset to Sea it's a wet and wild palette Yeah, and I'm just using this brown, oh, this brown color right here to go in my crease. There's really no way I'm doing this. I'm just really putting it, just dusting it in my crease, really. A little bit on my lid. Just a little all over because it's going to be a transition color. Sorry. I had the camera in, I meant the, had the camera, had the mirror in the way, oh, almost dropped it there, yeah, sorry that I'm not talking y'all, but that's how it looks so far, I'm just putting it in the crease. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a tighter brush and I'm gonna go in with a deeper brown and then work my way up to black. And that's what we're doing for the crease so far. So I'm gonna take, I might take a mixture of peanut butter and truffle in my uh, chocolate Too Faced chocolate bar and semi sweet bar and I'm thinking to take oops sorry right in here y'all peanut butter and truffle or no truffle and peanut butter I'm gonna mix them two together and put it in my crease sorry y'all And start with the outer V and then work my way to like not all the way over here but to like the middle of my crease just to deepen it a little bit I'm gonna go in with a little more truffle put that on the outer part they kind of deepen that up. No. If you hear my my girlfriend in the background, she's back there uh, messing with Sassy. 
putting truffle again in the crease, in the, not in the crease, in the outer V. Just deepening it up. I think that looks okay for now. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Sorry. Let's switch hands. See how that'll work. I'm going in with truffle. With just truffle on the brush. This is all I'm doing. I'm going to be doing this for quite a few seconds just to blend. I'm going in with truffle to go on the outer V like I did with this eye. Blending takes a lot. And now I'm looking at it, I feel like this eye is a little more smokier like I like it than this eye. So I'm going to go back in with truffle on this side. And sorry if I keep looking here, I got a mirror in the back of the camera just to make sure I'm in focus and stuff. So. Sorry if that is being annoying to someone. And as you can see, I'm not going very far into the crease. It's just like outer and midway in. Almost to the middle end, but not quite. I think that's okay for now. We're gonna go back in with another light brown just to like mesh it all together, but that is the gist of it as of right now. So last time I think what I did was I used this L'Oreal Paris Cut Infallible, yeah, Infallible 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow in Liquid Diamond. I think I used that and then this um, purple color that I really don't know where it came from but this is the, how it looks it's like kind of lavender if you can see it right it's it's coming off lighter on camera but it's a, like really pretty uh, lavender color so and then this is how that color look which is also coming off kind of lighter than what it really is it looks like a little silver in camera but it's really a, a, like a really pretty lilac color and I like these because um, they're like that with this little flat brush that I got off of eBay this little flat brush is really flat this is what it's this is what it say on the brush, but well, yeah, I'm use that and then I'm put this color all over my lid. I might wet the brush, but I might not. I'm just see what it look like once I put it on the lid. Cause that don't look right. So what I'm gonna do is just use my Elf brush, Elf Dome eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna go in with this color that I said is the lilac color, and I'm gonna go in and put that on the lid first, and see if that gives me the effect that I want. Yeah, that gives me more of the effect that I want. putting that all over the lid and then I'm just going and wet the brush and use the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow
Sorry I'm not talking y'all. Like if you like talk through videos, which I like watching talk talk through like get ready with me. But I don't really know what to talk about. So if you like this, if I can make it look really good because I'm really nervous. Because like I said, this is my first time doing like a full like makeup tutorial or... I don't want to say tutorial because I feel like tutorials are for people that know exactly what they're doing. So I'm a pro, like not a pro. I'm a, you know, like okay at makeup. So I don't really want to call it a tutorial. But if I see a look and I'm wearing it, if I see a look and I'm wearing, of course I'm gonna be wearing it. If you see a look me that I'm wearing, um. <laughs> If you see a look that I'm wearing, then you could just, you know, ask me to recreate it and I'll just try my best to remember what I did. So, I'm going to take some of this eyeshadow, this L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow on another brush. And I'm going to wet the brush. I mean, on the other side of the brush I was using. And I'm going to wet the brush with this NYX. Um, spray. And I'm gonna put this on top and see what it do. Cause I think this is the same kind of look I had. If I remember correctly, it looks like it. So I'm hoping I get the same outcome. It looks really like just like the look I did because that look I like I wasn't even you know I just seen the colors I wanted and that's what I did I didn't really know anyone would like it so yeah that looks take a small brush this is a Elf blending brush. I'm taking one of these and then I'm off and go on my crease and just smooth this what I just did on my lid out because I got a little bit crazy and it went a little bit in my crease. So we finna fix that. I'm gonna take truffle and peanut butter out of my Too Faced semi Too Faced chocolate bar palette. And I'm gonna just go back in my crease. Excuse me. As you can see, like, I'm going back in my outer V and, like, cleaning it up in the crease with a uh, truffle. With a little bit of peanut butter, too. So. Okay, now let's take another one of my BH Cosmetics brushes. I have two of these, so I need to get more because I really like these brushes. I like how they fit into the socket of my eye. So we're going to go in. This is clean. I'm just going to go in and clean, like, blend out each eye because it just look kind of crazy right now. So we're going to. Go in with no product on the brush and just blend. I'm probably going to spread through this. I either cut it out because I'm just blending. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Use another clean brush. This is my e.l.f. contour brush. I love this little brush. It is so cute. And I feel like it. it is really good. So if you want to be like have a big brush to blend but not use a pencil brush this is really good because it's big enough to go in your socket but little enough to blend a precise area if you get what I'm saying I'm 
Okay. So I'm gonna take now one of my pencil brushes that I got off of eBay and then I'm just going to this I think they say licorice. I don't really know, but I'm gonna go into this black right here in my Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I'm using the pencil brush and I'm just gonna go into my crease and like just give it some type of definition. I'm not gonna put a lot because you know black can like go everywhere if you don't contain it. I'm going back in with some of that lilac purple in the pan that I don't know where it came from. You're just putting some back on there. And then, oh, I'll just take this and blend it out. No. Use my contour, my elf contour brush, and blend it out a little bit. Like, Makeup, it can be easy and it can be hard. It's just like, you want something to look right. You got to kind of work at it. Let me use this. And that's a fallout. Had to get that up. But you got to kind of work at it. And, um, you know, sooner or later, you'll get it. You'll get, you know, that look you see your favorite YouTube guru do, you know? It's a work in progress. Because a lot of them, they all, you know, they just didn't wake up one day and be like, Oh, I'm a makeup artist. Not a makeup artist, but I just want to do makeup and I'm just going to be good at it right off the bat. No. They work. They practice. And that's what got them to where they at. That's what got them to like, you know, to you like idolizing them because they worked hard at it and they didn't give up because it was something they wanted. So, got that cleaned up. I think this is the gist of what my eyes look like. It looked like it because I can't really see the camera, but um, it looks like it when I look up close and look at it. Like I said, it, um, when I look at it, this is what I feel like it looked like. Like I said, I really, I don't remember, like, the whole, all the steps that I did, but this looks like what I had. And all the stuff I used was pretty much stuff that you get out of a Sephora or a Walmart so um I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll show you along the way I will be back when I do this eyeliner and I'll come back so I'm back I have my eyeliner on and I put mascara the mascara I used was the um last Last lash, uh, accelerator. I think endless. It's a Rimmel. It is really good if you feel like you don't have no eyelashes like I do, and I cannot deal with eyelashes like falsies right now. So this is really good, and I want to try the um, L'Oreal Telescopic. I think that's what it's called, and I heard that is really good, and I like how the wand looks, and I've seen people use it. And now I'm gonna move on to my face and. What I have on my face right now is Heart Candies uh, Primer, Sheer Emery Ultralight Formula Primer. So, that's what I have. All uh, the white stuff you see on my face. <laughs> I'm putting a blingy Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? Yeah. The Maybelline fit me in the dewy and smooth. I got the color 3. Five five. It looks like this. My girlfriend with my phone. <clears throat> she got a new haircut, y'all. Um, I ain't gonna show y'all now, but I have a video coming up 
to that person who decided to ask if we could do this I finally got them I went and ordered them on Amazon and yeah so this will be a video coming up soon so I'm going to use a little bit of this which I think this is my color it's just I don't know it looks a little light to me because I feel like I'm a little dark the, the camera is making me a little lighter than I really am but I'm not that dark like if you can see this is like an example I feel like this is a little too light and then I feel like this is a little too dark so I mix both of them on my hand I have it right there and I'm gonna mix some of this in it I don't really need a lot of coverage because I don't have any blemishes that I'm really that self-conscious about so I'm gonna mix this in my hand I mean on my hand the two concealers I'm gonna use today uh, I just bought from the hair store and I got uh, one in soft tan I think and I was using that to highlight but a uh, part of me feel like it's a little too highlight <laughs> so I got this one in almond this is how it looks and then I got this one in deep cocoa to contour so let's try I don't know. Then I went to Ulta and got my first beauty blender. Well, it's a real techniques sponge. But I thought I would like this more than the beauty blender. I got a cup of water over here that I'm dipping it in. It's nice and moist. Let's see. Okay. You see how that I like how that blended this out. I really do. Okay. Okay guys, this is the finished product. What I did was Went ahead and finished up. I forgot where I left off at. I think I left off with me doing my highlighter and blush. Like I said before, I used this Maybelline. It says blush, but I use it as a highlight because it's like way too shimmery. And then I use this. I use both of these products with my finger because this that's the best outcome. Do you see that highlight though? I'm just saying. But, um, and I use my Wet n Wild on top of that. And this is in the color Rose Gold Goddess. If you can see it right there. And then, I, like I said, I use my hand to do that. And then for my lips, I use my NYC Lip Liner in Brown. And I use a very good cocktail of three lipsticks. All Milani, which has very good lipsticks. I use... Matte Blissful is a really pretty pink. I use that in the center and then I use Teddy Bear which is like my all time nude for me. And I use Teddy Bear around it and then I use, where is it, okay. Matte Naked which is a really pretty nude too but it's a little more pinky on me. So I use Teddy Bear and my lip liner to tone it down. I'm going to kind of come in a little close. This is the close-up of the eyes I tried to recreate it the best way I could the lips 
and yeah this is what it is and I hope you enjoyed I will try to put it together and make it nice make it nice as possible